Hello, I am Dr. Anup Pandey and I will very briefly discuss about the role of X-rays and CT scan in uh, COVID-19. Uh, so, first and foremost is uh, a normal X-ray or normal CT does not rule out uh, COVID-19 pneumonia. X-rays are uh, mainstay of the imaging in uh, COVID-19 because it is simple, easily available and can be done uh, again and again. So any patient who has got a sari kind of symptom in the pandemic, uh, uh, the sari means uh, severe acute respiratory infection like a fever, cough uh, and uh, shortness of breath, they can have uh, x-ray and uh, other than that even the patient who are uh, immunocompromised and uh, uh, they are suspected uh, to have uh, COVID-19 pneumonia, even if they have a milder symptom they can undergo x-ray. Now coming to the CT. CT can be done without contrast as well as uh, with contrast and um, CT has got a role both in diagnosis as well as in the management of uh, COVID-19 pneumonia. Uh, coming to the diagnosis, uh, RT-PCR is the mainstay of diagnosis. However, if the patient has uh, typical symptoms of uh, uh, SARI, severe acute respiratory infection and uh, in the current scenario of pandemic, it is it is uh, suspected to be COVID-19 and if uh, RT-PCR is not available, CT can be done for diagnosis or other scenario in which RT-PCR has been done but it is uh, negative but the symptoms are typical of uh, COVID, in, in that those scenarios also CT can be done for diagnosis. However, it should be emphasized that CT is not the main stage for the diagnosis and uh, the RT-PCR is the, is the, is the thing, uh, the diagnostic test of COVID-19 pneumonia. And besides, uh, it has got, CT has got a role in the management of the COVID-19, uh, particularly the people who are uh, known case of COVID-19 pneumonia and they are at home isolation, having milder symptoms, they should not undergo CT scan. Uh, CT scan should be done only if uh, the symptoms become moderate to severe, like if the oxygen saturation drops below 94%, if the fever is high-grade fever or and it persists for more than five days, if there is a, a, a very severe degree of cough persisting for more than five days. Uh, in addition, uh, the, those patients who are higher at risk, these patients, even if they have a milder symptom, they can be subjected to CT. Uh, these patients include those who are uh, diabetic, who are more than 60 year old, who have chronic liver disease, lung disease, or chronic renal disease, the patients who are uh, on chemotherapy or other kind of immunosuppressive therapy, all these patients uh, can undergo CT even if they have milder symptoms. Uh, and uh, the CT, on the CT scan most of the time, if you see the report, it gives a score from 0 to, uh, on a scale of 0 to 25. That scale is very simple. Actually, the both lungs are divided in five lobes, and each lobe, depending upon how much degree of the lobe is involved, is scored on CT from zero to five. So, on this scale of twenty-five, if the CT score is seven or less, it uh, it shows a milder involvement. It is considered a milder disease, and if the score is eighteen or more, it is considered severe disease. And if the score is in between 7 to 18, it is considered moderate disease. So it just signifies the degree of involvement of the lung. And um, it is helpful in prognosis. So before I conclude, uh, two things I would uh, I want to emphasize. First and foremost, a normal CT, a, mal a normal chest X-ray does not exclude COVID-19 pneumonia. And the patient who are a known patient of COVID-19 and have milder symptom, and those are in home isolation, they should not undergo for CT. It is not helpful, only if, uh, except for in those patients who are at higher risk, as I already discussed. Or if the symptom worsen, uh, particularly if this disease become moderate to severe, as I discussed before, only in these scenarios, CT scans should be done. Thank you.